Welcome back to the channel. William here with East Mesa Urban Homestead. So we're going to take a little departure from our normal videos and uh, we're going to make some homemade chorizo right here. We have all the ingredients set out right here and we'll get into that later on. Uh, but right now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cut up the rest of this meat right here. Put it in uh, you know, manageable sizes to put inside of the grinder right here. And we're going to grind this up. So let's get to this. Now, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to cut this meat up. We're going to put it through here and through the grinder here. We're going to make the sauce and then we're going to mix it all together and we're going to let this marinate overnight. So that's what we're going to do next. So let's get ready to get this going. We'll be right back. All right, so there we go. It's about five pounds of uh, pork shoulder. Um, yeah. All ground up. This is uh, the coarse one right now. And uh, like I said, we're gonna we're gonna make the uh, the sauce or the seasoning or whatever. We're gonna season this up. We're gonna let it marinate overnight. And then tomorrow we're gonna put it through the smaller uh, die. And um, we're gonna put it through into some casing. So we're gonna have some nice chorizo sausages that'll be easier for us to manage as a uh, family. Okay, so um, we're gonna go ahead and make the sauce now. Um, we're gonna, I'm gonna give you ratios as if you're using one pound of meat and that way you can multiply it by however much pork you're gonna be using. You can use different kinds of meat, but pork is what we're gonna be using. So, um, I'm going to use uh, New Mexico chili peppers. We used half of the ingredients um, hot and the other half mild. That way it wasn't too, too hot. Um, for the kids, they probably would prefer it mild, but we're kind of experimenting. So um, we're just, we're just going to go ahead and try that out. So for one pound of meat, you want to use um, about five of these New Mexico peppers. If you want to make it even spicier, you can use the chile de arbol peppers. Um, they look like this. Usually this is the brand that's carried. Silly girl. Anyway, um, you use two to three uh, cloves of garlic. We're gonna be using more meat than that, so there's more in here. You're gonna be using two bay leaves per pound, a half a teaspoon of dried oregano. Can I see the oregano? A half, uh, one half a teaspoon of ground cumin, two teaspoons of ground uh, paprika, and I mix these ingredients up. This is um, one clove and two, well, Hi guys. about a pinch of allspice uh, per pound. You wanna use some kosher salt, one teaspoon per pound, and a quarter cup of vinegar. You can use white vinegar or you can use apple cider vinegar. So um, you want to prepare the peppers by taking, by cleaning them up first. You want to take off the seeds, you cut off the top, and you remove all the seeds. You can break it up. So once you, once you clean them up, you let them soak in hot, hot water for about 20 to 30 minutes. That'll soften up the outside and then you can go ahead and throw all the ingredients together There's in the blender. Okay, so this has been blending for about 10 minutes or so. Um, you can do it for less really, but I was busy so I let it go. 
So it's uh, pretty smooth. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is uh, I'm gonna go ahead and place it through a pretty fine colander here and uh, get all the thicker pieces of um, the, chili. the chili pepper. Uh, you can choose to skip this step, but I don't know, I think it's, uh, it's cleaner that way. Gotten all the juice out of it, then um, you wanna let it cool down and then uh, mix it with the ground pork or whatever meat you chose and let it um, sit overnight. A good six hours is good, but um, longer would be even better. Maybe up to you know eight, ten hours would be would be great. Okay, so it's the next day, and um, we're getting ready to make this uh, chorizo into the basically like a sausage link or whatever. So I use this right here. I'm not promoting this, but it's just a, a brand that we picked up at a, a store that um, it's it's called the. Uh, what, what, Pork chop. The, the pork chop, and they just sell uh, pork products. Um, so that's what I'm using. So this stuff is actually packed in salt. So what you have to do with that stuff is you take it out of the package, and there's quite a bit of the casing in there, and um, you have to put it in water, in warm water, you have to get all the salt off, and then you have to run warm water through the actual casing. So I've already done that, and I already actually have it on. Um, so it, it's on there, I've cleaned it, I put a little knot in the end down here. And uh, as you can see, the meat, it, it's looking really good. I got it loaded up here. Um, so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna get to putting this through this, uh, this machine and make some sausage. first casing it was kind of like a trial run and it actually worked pretty well so I'm going to put this other one on here it's much longer so this should probably um, you know be enough for the all the rest of this uh, this meat All right, so there we go. It's all complete. Put in the casings, and uh, you know it's looking pretty good. So you know, first time doing this. Uh, not too bad. So not too bad, right? All right, so there you go. We uh, we got all the the links right here. And uh, one thing that I forgot to mention as you're making the if you're going to be doing sausage like this for whatever kind of sausage you're making. Even if you're using the real casings like we did in this video, or if you're using like the cellulose ones that um, they have, when, when it's coming out, you twist one way, like you go clockwise on one link, and then on the next one you go counterclockwise. That way, it, when, you're, when you're twisting it, it's always staying nice and tight on, on the, in the casing. So with mine, we, you know, like I said, this is our first one, so, I gotta tighten up these uh, these casings a little bit, but overall, I mean, it turned out really well. And uh, you know, this is uh, almost five pounds of uh, meat in here, and the recipe that we used was really good. And this this is a uh, I'm, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. So till next time, I'm out here.